ultimate goal out here is to be able to restore 15,000 acres of marsh. Um, again, this area is vital habitat for uh, you know numerous amounts of, of, of animals that come out here. Um, it's a great nursery area for fish and crabs and um, larger things feed off of uh, this area as well. You know, we've got lots of um, birds out here, spoonbills, um, egrets, and um, we also have whooping cranes that come out here during the winter and they and they feed off here. So um, this will just uh, benefit a wide range of uh, species. levees and um, some ditches just to uh, drain the island of water so it would be more suitable for cattle grazing. So the, the island now is under ownership of the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge. So we looked at aerial photography from the 1920s and 30s and were able along with engineers to identify areas that would um, could receive some modifications like whether it be culverts um, through the levees or just basically removing sections of the levees again to um, restore the hydrology of the island just to get more water circulation through here more mixing um, this whole area um, this marsh area is very um, important it's a critical habitat the estuary program has been very fortunate in having numerous partners um, in conjunction with this marsh restoration effort, um, we have received funds from the General Land Office, their Coastal Impact Assistance Program. We have received funds from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services, as well as the Coastal Conservation Association, CCA. Without the collaboration of all these funding partners, the Estuary Program would not have been able to do this project on our own.